Hello, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna quickly show you uh, how to get this amazing procedural eye. Um, as you can see, it's pretty gross, but pretty cool. Um, big shout out to the creator of this. Uh, I'll have the link to his Twitter in the description below. I've also got the link to the Gumroad page um, for this eye in the description below as well. So if you just click that uh, and then head on over to uh, the Gumroad page, yeah, you'll see this. Um, and then it is free, you can put in zero, uh, you can put in ten if you can afford to pay something. Um, obviously that's great because we should support people who put out this content. But if you can't afford to, uh, you can just press zero and click I want this, put in your email address and then you'll get a download. Um, you want to just hit download on that file and then you will get a folder on your desktop. Um, if you unzip that, uh, so it's the, the zip folder we'll call just an I. And then you unzip that to the just an eye folder and then you can double click on the eye.blend. So let me just close that. Um, so if you open up that blend file, you'll see this. Um, and if we just go into rendered view, uh, you just immediately see the eye. Uh, I put this light here. Um, you'll see it quite dark here. You might want to just shift A, light, um, and then just add a light in just to obviously so you can see what you're doing. Just increase the radius and the power. Um, all right, so the, the main part, the, the reason this is so great is that it's completely procedural. Uh, so let me just shut this down here. Um, so you see that he's the creator's got this, uh, <laughs> this noodle spaghetti. Um, we don't need to know how that works. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the main thing is, uh, the main thing is this node here, um, and it just lets you control kind of everything that you need to control. So you can control the pupil size. You can change the color of the eye. Uh, sometimes with these, like if you hold shift and then drag, um, it just gives you a bit of finer control. You can control the saturation of the eye color. So you could have like a very pale gray pink. Um, value is kind of how bright the eye is. Then you've got veins position, which has this disgusting kind of effect, but I mean, it's very cool that it's there. So you see that they go in. Um, and then you've got veins scale as well. So, I mean, you can kind of see what that does. If you're like lots of veins really close. Um, and the great thing about this is you can animate these values as well. So if we wanted the uh, this eye to sort of become bloodshot, uh, we could go to frame one, get the, um, get the veins into the position that we want. And if we hit I to set a keyframe and then go forward however many keyframes you want um, and then really crank that up and then press I again uh, you can see that this now, kind of, the eye becomes bloodshot. I mean, so you can see how powerful this is. And I mean, this is working in EV. Uh, it does obviously work in cycles as well. Um, the reason it's all like weird and blurry like this is because um, there's a lot of subsurface scattering on it to get like a very realistic kind of look. Um, but I mean, it looks fantastic in EV anyway, so. Um, yeah, I mean that's kind of it. Uh, I've used it to create two um, two scenes so far. Uh, the first one is this little video. And the second one is this uh, eye shot here, which if you look in the uh, 3D file for that, um, you can see I've just got the three eyes, I've got um, a, vol a principal volume shader, and then I've got just a, a free 3D model I found online um, here. And you can see this gets this really cool kind of look. But yeah, I mean, that's it. It was just a very quick video just to kind of show off this uh, really cool um, free procedural eye. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please do subscribe. I'll have more of these kind of like shader showcases. Um, and obviously hit the like button as well, because uh, that does help. 
And then make sure you check out the creator on Twitter. Uh, go ahead, get the file. And then if you create anything use this, uh, using this eye, I'd love to see it. So you can tag me on my social media links below as well. But yeah, I mean, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.